Hello and welcome back to Sutton Lock. I was inspired to make this video after looking at various websites and noting how many combination locks were advertised as being suitable for gym lockers. So I thought, well, let's flip this on its head and instead of buying padlocks to take to the gym, let's go to the gym and buy some padlocks. And this is effectively what I've done. I've gone on to um, auction sites and uh, I've bought a uh, gym, the gym locker, uh, an LA Fitness uh, lock. Uh, LA Fitness, I don't believe, are uh, operating in the UK anymore. Um, I've gone to, uh, I've got an Energy one and I've got a Virgin Active one. Now, I'm not making any recommendations as to which lock is better than the other. And in fact, I would go as far as to say that I wouldn't rock, recommend using a combination lock to secure anything that's of any value. So what I've done is I've uh, decoded the, uh, the original uh, owner's code that they put in there and set everything back to zero on all three of these locks. So we're all set to zero, apart from the LA Fitness one, which I'll uh, talk to you about and show you why later. So what I intend to do is uh, randomly lock these up and uh, see how long um, it will take me to uh, get into them. So without further ado, I'm going to take this lock lock it down and change the code under a tea towel so that one's locked up we set this to zero to prove that it's uh, locked that's locked we'll do the same thing for this one All set to zero. Oh, set to zero and it's locked up. I would do the same with this one. Stick it under the cover. So I set this to zero. set to zeros. Well, the only tools I'm going to use is I'm going to use this uh, thumb stool just to protect my thumb and I'm going to use this uh, padlock just uh, to give me a bit of tension. So let's set that up. Lock that in position and see where we go. So what I'm looking for is uh, I'm looking to find some gates, either false gates or true gates, and I'm going to see which of these is, um, that's my alarm clock, sorry about that. So this is the stiffest one. So searching for a bit of give. Maybe that one. Next, stiffest one. None of them are particularly stiff. Just going to play with this until I can. Oh, that moved. I felt the shackle move. Not the earth, the shackle. Oh, this seems to be the next stiffest one. Yes, I felt that move. So, the third wheel, I haven't found any gates yet. Right, so they all appear to be in false gates some kind of another. None of them seem to be particularly loose. Nice click out that one. Not nice click and it's gone loose. Next stiffest one is probably this second wheel. Bit of a shackle movement. 
bit of a shackle movement on that. Bit of a shackle movement on that, not loose so maybe. Oh, that's gone loose. So those two appear to have gone loose. That's stiff, that first one. Alright, that's not moving, not going into a full skate. That's gone into a full skate. Maybe. Let's go back to the second one again. That's a nice full skate. That says that. And an open. So it was set to four, four, five, eight. Don't know how long that took. Uh, we might get the uh, timer back up when I've edited this. So this LA Fitness one. The code has been set by uh, the Southampton Lock Picking Club. Uh, the reason I can't set the code is because you have to take this to bits to see, reset the code. Um, I will show you how that's done after the, the picked all the rest of these. And uh, what they've done is they've put the code into a small bag um, and stapled shut the um, bag. So let's have a look at this. So again, I'm looking for the uh, tightest wheel, which is probably that one. And now I'm looking for, so that's, oh, that's gone loose. So what's the next tightest one? Probably this one. Uh, puts some extreme tension on his shackle. Falls loose. This is a question of four or one. No, it's definitely one. Yep. Next Titus is this one. Seven's loose. Loose. Oh, seven's loose there. Oh, that's stiff. That's gone very stiff, so we're in the right ballpark, I think. Oh, so that's set to three, seven, one. Yes. So this one. So same principle. Looking for a full skate. Looking for a loose. Or oh, sorry, the most stiffest one. One is very stiff. One and two are very stiff. Sorry, one and three. I'm going to go for three because that seems to be. That's gone quite loose. Again, I'm looking for full skates. So I haven't found any yet. Uh, I've got a bit of movement there. Mm, be full skate there. That might be a gate there. 
So the first one's still stiff. We're going into false gates now. We're looking for one that gives seven is stiff. That's got loose. That's got loose. That's got loose. So five seems to be the best one there. That four wheel seems tight and we've got an open. That was set to five, five, seven, three. Let's open this up. I'll stick this one on. Same procedure, look for false gates, look for... So that's it to two, one, three, one. Right, so let's open this up and see what code Sampton Lock Picking Club set this to. Four three seven one, and that's what I've got there. Four three seven one, and the reason I couldn't set this live on camera is because to decode or to code this, you have to take these wheels apart, and that would have been very difficult to do underneath the cloth. So that's all I got uh, time for today. Um, thank you for watching. It just reiterates to me that to don't secure anything um, of any value with uh, combination locks because uh, they're not uh, as secure as you might think. Uh, thank you for uh, uh, watching. Uh, please like, subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you uh, have got any comments or you uh, uh, recommend any combination locks that are uh, probably stronger than these, then uh, please let me know. Thank you very much.